Still plenty of snow in Buffalo, but the roads are in much better shape. Most are reopened to traffic, but the mayor is still asking people not to drive if they don't have to. The deaths of at least 40 people are being blamed on that blizzard. Mm. Groups from our region are helping residents in western New York. Brandon Goldner spoke with a first responder from New Jersey who made the trip to Buffalo. For Kevin Morrissey, the program manager of New Jersey's Urban Search and Rescue Team Task Force One, deploying to Western New York is, in a way, returning the favor. If you go back to Hurricane Sandy, we had a lot of help coming to our state to help, and you know we just feel it's our responsibility when asked to come up and help, no matter where it is. Where they're needed now is Buffalo, New York, which is recovering from what's being described as the blizzard of the century, where record snowfall has led to 37 deaths. They're making progress, and we're, we're just happy to be here and help them with that. He says so far they've been going door to door with police in the National Guard to check on elderly homeowners and people with special needs. We're just following up with them and uh, checking on people. New York State Police swore in five New Jersey State Troopers assigned with Task Force One to help patrol the Buffalo area. Both PennDOT and New Jersey DOT are also sending in dozens of crews, plows, and specialized equipment to help clear Buffalo streets of more than four feet of snow. PennDOT's John Fleming says it's important to help Western New York because it could have easily been Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania that needed help. These are men and women that are essentially over the holiday season leaving their families behind uh, to go up and, and to assist another state who has a problem. Morrissey says many of the people in western New York are grateful for the outside help. A good resilient bunch of folks up here and uh, many of them are out helping their neighbors and you know they're very appreciative of the efforts and our guys are humbled to be here and be able to help them. Brandon Goldner, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.